Hey guys, so it's Saturday. You might have just seen an intro. I don't know if I got it figured out. I think I did. It's just going to be short and simple. Um, the picture I used for it was a picture I took in the Mojave Desert. We were on our California trip on the way home. And I know I talk about the desert so much, but I just loved it. And that picture, I took that picture and I took another picture um, like of myself in like the uh, side mirror and like it was like back to back and I don't know what it was about that I think just coming back from the trip I just felt like different and like just so like I don't know I was just in like a really good headspace and I just feel that like whenever I look at that picture and I just love it so I think it's a perfect picture for um a little intro like I said just like a simple little thing I'm not trying to be a fancy youtuber i think i need an intro but i just kind of wanted to do it so anyway so there's that um i didn't really vlog much this past week basically i've been doing a lot of cleaning um <laughs> otherwise i don't know i was gonna talk about something i have a book here i talked about this on instagram i was thinking of talking about it on here but i'm hesitant Maybe I should just do it. Maybe I should just talk about it. I kind of want to talk about it. I like talking about the books that I'm reading and like if I recommend them or not or whatever. This one I do not recommend. <laughs> so if you want to stay tuned as to why, oh my gosh, I think I'm running out of space on this SD card. Okay, so switch out the SD card. Now I'm definitely going to talk about this book because I just got up, went into the room, changed this out. And isn't it so stupid that they make um these camera stands that it's right by the sd card slot so you have to unscrew it get the card out or battery or whatever you have to like take it all apart and mess up your setting just to switch it out but anyway so this book it's called it's not supposed to be this way by lisa tur to curse to cursed i'm not sure how you say it um and basically it's it kind of touches on a lot of topics it kind of can pertain to anything in life that makes you feel like it's not supposed to be this way you know um and it is from a christian perspective however with that being said i'm not a very religious person now my battery's dying ah, but i'm not a very religious person i talked about this on here before um i believe in god i like to think there's an afterlife of some sort but I don't really agree 100% with any religion that I've looked into so far, even Christianity. I don't really agree with everything that they say is like wrong when it comes to how people live their lives. Um, so I don't really know what that makes me. Like I believe in God and I think I'm maybe like more spiritual if anything, I would say. Um, I'm, you know... <laughs> I don't know I'm big on like signs and the universe and I like that kind of stuff and so it's kind of like a mixture I don't know what that makes me exactly but I still thought this would be interesting but um and I feel like it would be helpful for some people especially if you are um very religious so and I don't mean this disrespectful to anybody who believes in anything or you know I don't know I just don't want to come across as disrespectful to anybody but my thing is when it comes to Christianity I'll say specifically since this is about that um, like okay so for example like in this book she, like she says and she quotes Bible verses that say to pray if you're going through a hard time, if somebody is dealing with a sickness, you should pray for them. You know, if you're feeling confused, if you're feeling sad, you should pray. But then at the same time, the author realized that God does things in his own time and when it's going to, you know, be right for you, which I, again, I don't necessarily know if I, if I feel this from a religious perspective, but I do think things happen how they're supposed to happen and the timing they're supposed to happen and um yeah so that's that's also though why i'm kind of like 
confused when it comes to prayer because I feel like if you really believe that God has a plan and that everything happens the way he wants it to happen and it's only going to happen when he wants it to happen, what's the point of praying? Like, what's the point of praying for situations to change if you really believe that God is in control of everything? You know what I mean? So that's just kind of something that I get hung up on and a lot of this kind of talked about prayer and stuff like that. So... I don't really know how I feel about all that. And another thing, and this kind of like touched on this a little bit or just kind of not really touched on it, but just got me thinking about things. And I don't like this kind of attitude. Um, but for example, like if you're talking about a sickness or, you know, like she talked about cancer and she kind of had the attitude where it's like, you know, um, God helped me get through this. He knew I had a bigger purpose. He, you know, he was on my side the whole time and everything else, which is great. But then it's like, what about people that don't make it? What about people that, you know, struggle for years and then they die? Like, what was the point of all that suffering? Like, did God just not care? Like, you know, like, and I'm not saying that that's the case, but I'm just saying when people say like, you know, he was on my side, he knew, you know, there was more to me than this. And, you know, I had so much more to do. And it's like, well, did, did other people not? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't really understand that. And another example that I see that kind of, not in this book, but just in general, that kind of maybe makes my point even more than I'm trying to say, like, I see a lot um, where people say things like, you know, if they're having a baby, for example, they'll post like, you know, God knew that this is what we needed, this was the right time for us, that we needed this baby, this baby needed us, and again, that's a great way to think, but I also think that's crap. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I'm probably shouldn't say that but I feel like there are a lot of people out there that want to be parents that physically can't be parents that would be amazing and there's a lot of people out there that are parents that shouldn't be parents that treat their kids horribly or abuse their kids so again I understand when people are you know feeling blessed and you know good things are happening to them that they're like this is God he knew this was right you know and everything else but you can't say that for everybody you can't say that for everybody's situation and I feel like it, it just doesn't make sense you know like when it can't be pertained to every situation I don't know it just kind of loses its meaning to me um, and I know it's just like a me thing and this book has a lot of good reviews but the, the negative reviews kind of are along those lines like somebody said like you know um, like how because she said like basically like her and her husband split up for a bit and then she had health issues but in the end like her and her husband got back together and her health issues were resolved so everything worked out great but it's like it doesn't really talk about what happens when things don't work out good you know and when it doesn't usually people are just like well that's the plan or you know if something is going wrong it's like well that's the devil and it just seems like it just seems like i don't want to say a cop out Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. I don't know. But it's just like, well, if things are great, it was God. And if not, then it has nothing to do with that. And it's something else. Or it's just how it was supposed to be. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but again, I don't know. It's just my thoughts on this book. And there's something else I wanted to talk about with this too. Oh, there was another person that pointed out like, I guess somebody was going through problems like in their marriage her friend and she's like she said something like you know Oh, no, 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 that was a different part um, She said if you're going through something if this author could talk to you in person She said that she would love to sit down with you and open up her Bible and somebody said like they didn't like that because it's like if you're going through a hard time like why wouldn't the first thing be like just like be a human like talk to somebody give somebody a hug you know just be caring like why is it like the first thing I would do is open my Bible and I understand that if you're very religious you're probably gonna look at that differently but again I feel like my beliefs are kind of a mixture of 
believing in something, but also, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And this is like a big thing for me. And I, like, honestly, years ago, I felt very different than I feel about this stuff now. I feel like I don't know what it is, but I feel like I'm changing like a lot. So many of like my views and thoughts on things like are so different than they were like even 10 years ago, for example. And I like reading books like this because even if I don't agree with it, it still like opens my mind up to like what I actually agree with or don't agree with or whatever. So it's still good, but I don't know. I don't want to offend anybody, but I really don't think this is a very helpful book. I think it's just um, this person's story, and uh, like I like that, like I said, somebody else said like everything worked out good, so they just you know say well things will work out if you you know pray and believe in God and everything else and read the Bible and stuff like that but then it doesn't really talk about like when things still go wrong you know and praying and reading the Bible and having a relationship with God doesn't fix everything so um I don't know it's just kind of like a personal story and also just a lot of scripture so if you're into that kind of thing maybe it would help you if you're going through a rough time um if not I do not recommend this <laughs> I'm sorry. Again, I don't want to offend anybody. And I know the stuff I don't understand. I just, it's my own confusion. But um, yeah, that's just kind of how I feel about this book. I think I'm done with like, I guess this kind of fall. I don't know. It does, I don't think this is really like a self-help book. But like this book, like the vegan book that I read, I don't even think I talked about that on here. Um, but it's just, I don't know. A lot of the stuff just does not, it leaves me like, more confused and like just usually a little irritated so i don't really know if these books are for me but um yeah i don't know if you've read this if you're one of the like 12,000 raider people on goodreads then let me know what you thought again please don't be offended by my thoughts they're just my thoughts and i feel like everybody is entitled to feeling and believing and thinking whatever they want um so i don't know this was kind of long but my my battery's still holding up so um i don't know but greg gave me an early birthday gift because i was telling him about this book and he's like okay well you should read something more exciting and something uh less depressing than this book <laughs> was to me so hold on battery this is my next book <laughs> And I'm so excited about it. So here's the thing, when it comes to me in books, if I'm reading a um, nonfiction book, it's going to be uh, like something that is educating me <laughs> and just like opening my mind in whatever kind of topic I'm interested in in that moment. Or it's going to be a biography probably about somebody. It's going to be this next, before it was Jessica Simpson, like I said. And um, if it's a fiction book, it's going to be romance. That's all I have interest in. Well, yeah, that's pretty much true. That's all I have interest in when it comes to fiction books. Um, like some people try to give me books that are like, I don't know, like cop stories or detective things. And I just don't care. I'm sorry, but I just don't care. <laughs> I like romance. I don't want to read about cops or supernatural stuff or anything else. I want a romance if I'm gonna like go off to another like fake world like that's what I want but yeah these are my two books at the moment so what are you reading let me know what you're reading if it's something good um but yeah I think that's gonna be it for now I just kind of want to talk about the book and um I'm gonna charge this battery and um yeah I will be vlogging tomorrow and hopefully post this tomorrow maybe
forward. I actually ate lunch too. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But right now, I didn't know what this piece was for last time I was recording. Apparently it's a diffuser and people like dry their hair somehow and it gives it like a nice wave. So I'm gonna try. I mean, my hair is kind of already getting wavy just because it dries like that, but I'm gonna see what this can do. So it, maybe I'll show it, maybe I'll just come back, but we'll see. Well, that is the stupidest thing I've ever tried. Probably not true, but what is, I don't, like my hair, like I said, my hair is normally wavy, so I thought it would make it more wavy. I think it just kind of made it naughty. Maybe it looks like I was at the beach, I don't know. It's pretty much how it normally is. <laughs> that was a waste of time. I'm going for a walk. Wanna be in the vlog? Well. That thing did nothing for my hair. I think it just got it tangled. I don't know. I know I was probably not doing it right. Got water, beef jerky, everything you need for a hike. Vegan beef jerky, of course. This is the best. This is the best I've ever had. I used to eat this a lot when like, I first had pots because it was salty and it was great. So I just kind of keep it with me just in case if I have it. But I'm just kind of hungry for it now, so I might eat it before we get there. We did about five miles and I did three miles earlier so yeah I almost did eight miles total which is um, a lot and I'm tired I changed into pajamas <laughs> um, actually oh, well it's only 630 but I'm tired so I don't really care I'm gonna make dinner now though um, and this isn't really a recipe this whole video is just kind of just showing like food examples um, well like meal examples if you're a vegan our ideas, I guess, not examples. Um, I'm sorry, I'm so tired right now. Uh, but I didn't even talk about lunch. For lunch, I just made um, like a mixture of potatoes, broccoli, and like a cheese sauce. And then I just had zucchini with uh, Parmesan cheese. I have a picture of it though, so I'll insert that here. And now I'll move on to dinner, with, which basically, I just um, marinated some tofu and there's not really a recipe for this. I almost dropped it on the floor. Um, it's just kind of a mixture of soy sauce, a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of maple syrup, garlic powder, ginger. I think that's all. And I just kind of mix it together until I, it has a taste I like. And I think I might put this on the grill. Actually, I don't know. I might take the lazy way out and just put it in a pan. I don't feel like grilling it. And I was gonna grill like, I don't know what I wanna do. Maybe I'll grill it. Should I grill it? Cause I was gonna grill eggplant too and some peppers that I have. Maybe I'll cook them on, in, in a pan. Just cook these on the grill. I don't know. And maybe, uh, make some rice with it. So yeah, I don't know. I'll just kind of show myself throwing it together, I guess. You don't really need to know exactly what I'm doing. I'll just come back and show you what I've done. <laughs> That's how we're gonna do this. Okay, so dinner is done. <gasps> Let me try this again. The camera almost tipped over. Don't know if you saw that or not, but dinner is done. <laughs> this is what it looks like. 
Um, basically, I just used rice noodles, um, some eggplant, some uh, peppers, uh, broccoli, and then tofu that I marinated, like I said. I just did it all on the stove. I was just lazy and didn't want to mess with the grill. Plus, there was a deer out here. I didn't want to disturb it. So, um, yeah, very good. I'm going to go eat this. Oh, yeah, sesame seeds. Um, this might be it for the vlog. I know it's kind of just short. I talked about a book and then I showed some other stuff and just food in between. But it's just a random, hopefully short vlog. And like I said, I feel better posting things when I'm like sharing some kind of vegan food or something just so people, even if it's not like a specific recipe, just something that people have ideas because sometimes that's all I look for. So um, yeah, this might be it unless I think of something else. But um, yeah, if this is it, I will see you next week.